on this show, we're going to be talking. We're going to be talking. Talking? Talking. Try again. Going all the way this time. Coming at you in three. On this show, we're going to be talking about twerking Alexa. No, Alexa doesn't twerk. But there is a tw- an Alexa-enabled bear and Santa Claus that twerk. And if that's not the gift for you, we have a few other last-minute gift suggestions. Well, that's great. Our genuine positivity message is holiday-related. Now that Tumblr is PG, Apple put it back in the App Store. Oh, uh, remember we talked about that. I was wondering why they took it out. Well, now they took out the adult conversations. I guess it's back in. You betcha. And we also find out all about how Christmas cards started. Welcome to What Happened in the World Today. I'm Steve. And I'm Scott. And this is a tale of how bad life decisions led to a YouTube show. And we're going to talk about what we've noticed was going on in the world today. Well, it's coming up on Christmas still. It's that season. A lot like Like Christmas. Christmas. Everywhere you go. You know what else is looking like Christmas? What? There's a bear, a twerking bear that twerks to Alexa. Well, I did, first off, it looks a lot like Christmas in my background because this is what Christmas looks like in Las Vegas. I don't even know how to get out of the way here. You can't get out of the way. It, it really does look like that, doesn't it? But that's what it looks like. All the snow you guys have. But what, what is your background? Okay. Um, my last cooking show, which we did yesterday filmed yesterday um was a baking show and i made german spritz cookies which is a recipe handed down from my wife's grandmother to her mother to Susie. okay so i and see no cookies no you no i'll show those in another show um i just wanted to show you what ingenuity could do because i had no way to do my camera above my head on my big island because i couldn't do all the cookies cook um, cookies on the stove it just doesn't work that way you needed a lot more space Okay, so I see a big bar sticking out what, over you know your head. Do you know what angle iron is? Yeah. That is a 10-foot piece of angle – no, 7-foot piece of angle iron. All uh, right. How did you get it to stay where it is? Okay. There's just enough of a gap between the microwave and the cabinet above it to slide it in on the corner of the microwave and jam it in there with that piece of wood you see up there so it goes up in the air instead of hitting my head. Okay. Now, and, now why is that – what's that round thing on there? And near the end? Yeah. That is where the, um, that is a flexible camera mount. I screwed that onto the angle iron so that the camera mark could point down above me so you could watch me doing the cookies. That is pretty good. Yes, you'll see it. Uh, actually, uh, let's see, today is Thursday, right? Uh, Fun Guy the Entertainer cooks for you on Thursday. Thursday, the uh, Friday, Friday is when the video 20th. Goes. Thursday the 20th. Friday the 21st, which also happens to be winter solstice, the shortest day of the year in the Northern Hemisphere. Yay! It's going to get brighter again. I'm so happy about that. Yes. You know, because of the Christmas lights, it actually works out pretty cool because I love Christmas lights. So now they're on a little longer. I switched from a nine-hour timer on my Christmas lights to a dusk-to-dawn timer. So much more cool. Nice. Very nice. Well, that's cool. All right. So you said something about twerking. Now, okay. So I saw the weird thing sticking out of your head. Now we're going to see a weird thing sticking out of your butt. Weird thing sticking out of your butt. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. No. So what do we got? A All twerking right. We bear. have a twerking Alexa-enabled bear that, that twerks to the beat of the music and also lip syncs. All the Alexa responses when you ask her a question. Yeah, but only the Alexa responses. It yeah. does not it does not lip sync the song. No. You know, they won't move their mouth to the lyrics, unfortunately. The description helpfully explains that it doesn't move its mouth to these songs because this Christmas bear is focused on twerking. Yes. That's a solid reason I'll take it. All right. Okay. No. This is the same company that brought you Billy the Big Mouth Bass. What is it? Big Mouth Bass Billy? Billy? I I want to say it was Billy the Big Mouth Bass. Right. And his mouth moved to the music. Right. So they can't, but but it does. All right. So we have a video. Let me, let me, but the the video, whatever, I'm bummed. All right. I need to go to here. Then I need to share this. And then you'll have to change the screen during the edit. So I need to go to. 
Oh, you're going to have to teach me to do that. The folks, this will be a new one for me. This screen. And now I hit play. Oh, I didn't share the sound. Hold on. Pause. Um, oh, that's right. You got to do it that way. I need to. Because there is sound to it, but it's not sound that I want to hear. Well, <laughs> or, or again, does that make sense? I don't even know. Yes, it I does. Because uh, I heard it already. The sound. Now share. Now share. Now play. I'm ready for pairing with your Amazon Echo device. Okay, so the mouse moves for this. I'm paired to your Alexa device and ready to play. But I hope it's not this woman's voice. But then it just dances and twerks to the music. The mouth doesn't move, but it only the mouth only moves. I'm confused. Yeah, it is pretty strange that they didn't show the actual Alexa voice working on it. But that was that was the voice. Unless that was the Alexa voice that was supposed to be coming through, and that was a voiceover. But that was a weird voice to have as the voice. Yes. Okay, maybe you can't use the Alexa voice if you don't own it. Ooh, good question. So they would have been copyrighted out? Like, oh, me. like we have a few times? Yeah. Yes, we actually have been copyrighted out before. Yeah. Which is there really we weird because we're doing news about something. But yes. And we say we don't own it. So, yeah, whatever. It's yeah. weird. It's weird at best. So, yeah, I don't know if that's going to go over as Billy the Big Mouth Bass. Billy the Big Mouth Bass was cool because his mouth moved and the head turned out. But Yeah, although it wasn't in tune with anything. It, I mean, I'm, it wasn't synced very well. It was kind of like our early eight shows. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, yeah. Have you ever – do you remember, like, Chuck E. Cheese and stuff that used to have was the an animatronic – Dance. They don't have them anymore? Yeah. I, well, I don't know. I've never been to a I, – I haven't seen a Chuck E. Cheese in 20 years. We got Chuck E. Cheese out here. Yeah, Still. go look, let us know in another episode. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go to Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> uh, a predator in uh, playing skee ball. He's here with no kids. <laughs> or, or better yet. And yes, he's videotaping. I, I, I like a whole foods plant-based meal, please. Yeah. Hey, and and he's videotaping here with a bunch of kids around. No, I don't All think right. So. But anyway, the reason I brought this up is because, as you mentioned at the beginning of the show, there's only, you know, less than a week till Christmas. So, last well, week, actually, if you count it out, it would be Thursday, so you can go shopping Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And first part of and Monday. Monday's Christmas Eve, and then stores start closing. So, not a lot of time. No, so, not a lot of time at all. Obviously, you could buy this twerking election enabled bear or came up with a couple other cool ideas. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out this list you came up with. It says it says last minute holiday shopping gifts. But, yes, but then it's by dates. I know. I thought that was a little weird. I don't know if if uh, this is the only days those are on sale for, but I really doubt it because I looked up some of these and they're still at that price. Yeah. So so the first one that they're listing is the Ring doorbell. The Ring doorbell uh, was actually on Shark Tank. I don't know if you know this or not. Yes. And the guy got turned down. Did you know that? No, I did not. I just yes. remember hearing that it was on Shark so, Tank. So, yeah, it was on Shark Tank. He got turned down. And then this year, they actually had um, other entrepreneurs come on for, like, for a guest show. And he was one of the entrepreneurs that got to come on and uh, be, you know, a, a shark. Yes. You so, say, I yeah. thought it was pretty cool because, you know, the, the video doorbells are huge right now, especially with all the, the, the thieves that are stealing packages off the porch. Right. We're watching videos of those right and left on the internet. But we're talking doing about on our show. 70 bucks off at Best Buy, and it comes with an Echo Dot and a whole bunch of other stuff, which is pretty good, all free. It is pretty good. So, and then yeah. HP's Omen 15, uh, 15T gaming laptop, which is supposed to, uh, it's actually cheaper than all it right. came out on Black so, Friday. So, so HP Omen. Yes. The Omen version. Yes. Like like the Omen? Omen? No, the game Omen. Oh. I thought it was a movie. Wow, I didn't know it was a game Omen. Well, there's a whole bunch. <laughs> That's what they do. They make games out of the movies. So, it's probably based off the movie, the game. I don't play that one, but uh, when okay. they, they, they name these, comp these laptops after games. Uh, games. Okay. Because it's gaming. Now, who bought... Who bought um, the gaming company with the Alien? Alien. Alienware. Dell bought them, right? Not HP? Uh, Dell bought Alien? 
Uh, yeah, Alienware. I didn't know they got bought. I missed that oh, one. Yeah, a long time ago. Well, remember, even though I'm a nerd, I'm not a geek. I just use the stuff that my my employee and buddy uh, builds. No. <laughs> Tell no. about it. Okay, cool. Yep, there you go. Just had to verify. I was right again as usual. You know, it's amazing how often you pull that off. I just hear stuff that I remember it. Yeah, well, oh, I was going to say, you're in Las Vegas. With the, with the fact that you're more than 50% right on your guesses, you should be gambling more. Yeah, that's why I don't gamble. I know, because it I'm, sounds so good. Well, they've it? changed the odds. You can't even get three to two anymore in blackjack. It's now six to five. If you bet $5 and get blackjack, they give you six. Oh, I made a whole other dollar. Now oh. everybody goes, oh, that's not a big difference. I go, that's a dollar fifty less every time. That yeah. changes the odds by almost 10% in the, yep. in the house's favor. And you think that's not a lot. Try doing it when you're betting $30. You bet $30 and it was three to two. You used to get your $30 plus another 15. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. Yes. Well, I don't gamble, so that makes it easy. Yeah. But here's, but, here's, here's another thing that's kind of cool. Wait, wait, wait. We didn't talk about the omen. Oh, did you look I don't up? know if this is a good computer or not. One terabyte, but only a 7200 spinning drive. You know, don't you think that that should be a, a gaming computer? It should be a solid state drive? Uh, usually, but isn't this a laptop? Yeah, it's a laptop. Yeah, it's a laptop. But still, a gaming laptop. Yeah, right. You know, 8 gigabits of RAM. Everybody's doing that now that Windows 10 supposedly uses it all. An i7. Yeah. And, and an NVIDIA video, but yep. eh, I don't know. I'm not impressed for just under $1,200. Give me them new football jerseys that light up. <laughs> yeah. They're not that much money, though. Yeah. Of course, if you got one for each team, it would add up pretty fast. There you go. So. All right. So I don't know how this is. So what's the next thing? Well, I was talking about the uh, new Amazon's water-resistant Kindle paper white. Paper That's wipe? Pretty, yes, it's it's like a like What's a, a paper, paper wipe. White. Paper white. Paper wipe is what you do after you go to the bathroom. Oh. So the, the, that's their new e-reader that's Correct. white as opposed to black, right? Because it's like paper Gray. colored. Gray. And, and then the printing is, is black just like traditional paper. Yes. That's why I call it paper white. So it it stands it's a little sharper view. Yeah, because it's white paper and black printing, just like if you were holding a piece of paper. Correct. I know. I just said that. That's yes, why. but the thing that's interesting about it is one of the biggest problems we have, I take mine on, on vacation, although I haven't gone in a while, okay. and you go to the pool, it gets wet, and you have to set it to the side for it to dry off, just like cell phones and stuff. This new well, one, I mean, it doesn't one, fry. It, no, it doesn't fry, but it, it does get I, – I couldn't, I couldn't switch the, the, the pages. Really? Really, I had to use the manual button on the side because no, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, because normally you go like this, right? Right. right. But cause it got wet. It had kind of grayed out where where I normally do that, ah. and it kept not going anything. So I'd have to push, push, push to make it go. This huh. is water resistant. If it gets, I would wet, just say turn page. Turn page. Well, self, page. does yours work that way? No, because I listen to audio books, so I just oh, turn it on audio. I keep forgetting about that. I just turn the Kindle into audio and let it talk to me. And it automatically turns the pages. I wear glasses. I can't read. I understand. So. Yeah, and besides, I don't know why you'd buy a Kindle when you can just do it on your phone and turn it to audio. <laughs> yeah. People still I read. I don't have good eyes. I can't do that. I still enjoy reading. All right, what else you got out there? So you can buy a Kindle for somebody. Yep. The iPad is up to 80 bucks off at your big box stores, Walmart, Target. I, I, okay, I hate that they say 80 bucks off because just so you know, window, Windows, uh, Apple does not discount their stuff. That is correct. You know that, right? Yes. So when it says 80 bucks off, uh, $249. Yes. Well, everybody's selling it for that. They, Walmart doesn't have a, a special deal. Walmart, Amazon, Target, they're all going to be the same price. Correct. It might be a, a dollar off or something they're trying to lose to get in the door, but they're all the same. Right. So, so it's not just Walmart. Walmart, Target, Amazon. Wherever you can get it. Exactly. But I don't know if that's really good, an iPad for $250.
I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It seems overpriced to me. Although what I've noticed is we've said Alexa several times and she hasn't said anything, but we probably didn't ask her a question. Alexa, what's the weather like? You might have turned off like she turned her off last time. 37 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy skies. Oh, she's on. All, All right. right. So, so here's another thing. Okay. So the Pixel 3 and the Pixel 3 XL. Right. I'm unhappy that the fact that you can only get these with um, who sells Pixel? Uh, Verizon? And the worst part is the sale is over tomorrow. So if you're going to do it, you got to buy right, it. Right, but, but it's Verizon. It lasts till December 22nd. Right. But still, you have to have Verizon, right? The Pixel is only on. Is it only on Verizon? I think so. Oh, they ain't getting on T-Mobile. Yeah, go figure. Because I like Pixel phones. Well, I like Google phones. Right? Yeah. All right, yeah, I'm looking on here. It doesn't say anything about it only being on Verizon, but it says you can buy it through uh, Google. Right, but I think, you have to, I think you have to have. Yeah. I'm searching T-Mobile right now. And it does not show it on T-Mobile, so I'm saying no. So I'm saying no, nope, nope, okay. don't sell it there. But anywho, that's enough last-minute stuff for now, I think. Otherwise, we're going to run out of time. Okay. So I think we should do our genuine positivity message. And I came up with an anonymous one, so you but, but it's it. But it's mostly phones and video players after that. Yes. All right, so you came up with it? I, I no, I did not it. do this I've one. I've lost my mouse. There it is. This is an anonymous. A genuine positivity message. Oh, I know Anonymous. Anonymous was a great king. I am Anonymous. Oh, you, you, you mean unanimous. No, Anonymous. How do you spell Anonymous? It's spelled properly. A-N-O-N-Y-M-O-U-S. I know he's a guy. He's a king. All right. So, what is our what is our genuine positivity message? In this end of the year holiday, express your feelings to your loved ones, and from that moment on, you'll see that everything will be better in your life. Be positive, and like that, the challenges you find in your way won't stop you. Have a merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. Have a merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year to you, Scott. And I need to express my feelings towards you. I want to say thank you very much for doing this with me and allowing me to have a, a therapy session uh, three times a week. Isn't that amazing? That's kind of what it's like. And, it's and totally I, what it's like. I, I thought about it. We do right roughly half an hour each night. Right. Normally, that would be like 280 bucks at the, the office. I don't even know what it costs, but it probably at least, yeah. Yeah, it's not a bad deal. Not a bad deal at all. So thank you all for that. Thank here's, you. Here's a hug for you. Ah, ah. I have to turn on my video. Like that's oh, yeah. There. There. Hug, hug, hug. Okay. Cool. Hugs are good. Hugs make you feel better. Hugs actually release chemicals in your body that are actually good for you. Yes, they are. So that's Especially the truth. They're backwards hugs. Never mind. Yes. So hey, we, we go ahead. ahead. I, I was thinking, remember we were talking about, um, that's exactly what I was going to say in a previous episode. We are talking about some kind of different program called yes. window pillow shader, fort. night shader. No, pillow fort. They're, pillow they're, fort. Taking, they're taking all the adult content that is no longer going to be allowed on Tumblr. Well, here's something I didn't realize Apple actually banned Tumblr, from Apple their app store. banned it from the App Store. Yeah. Till they till they got till they banned all the adult content from the website. So Correct. remember we were asking why would Tumblr do that? Well, there's why. Because you can't download it on half the phones people own. That is right. So they decided to go ahead and uh, switch and it over. It. And since they, they put the ban out there, um, it's back up. Yep. Although the funny part is just to say, since you screwed us, we're going to do it up yours. They kept the stuff up there and they've got it, had it released to the minute before the deadline. And then it all went away. <laughs> that was 
pretty cool. Yeah, uh, but still, that made they still went away. So Apple's still going. You had to make it go away. Yeah, anyway. well, that's yeah. Well, we all know that uh, we're living in a world where I th- did that whole spiel living before. In the, in the material world, material living in the material world, material world. World. We do need to, to really cut down on the people who are really, really bad, but yeah. they're ruining it for everybody else. They are ruining it for everybody else. But we had a discussion uh, at my last golf tournament about that, about the pendulum swinging and how it's gone yes. way too far the other way because there's no, there's no sense of personal responsibility anymore. It's always correct. somebody else's fault for everything. We're all victims, and it's always somebody else's fault that this happened to me. You betcha. Ooh, I'm starting to smell something interesting. Ooh, I've smelled this before. Oh, that smells so good. What I'm getting special doing? delivery. Oh, somebody's coming up the stairs. Oh, Somebody look at com- what I got. Oh, you're so mean. You know, I- that was my T-Mobile. You know, that was my T-Mobile giveaway, T-Mobile Tuesdays. Really? They gave away a White Castle gift card for a, for a, uh, a combo meal. Oh, oh. you can eat those. You can eat them right now? Eat one. Eat one right now? Eat one now. I I don't know if they're hot. Who cares? They're good anyways. Show everybody the pickle. Do what with the pickle? Show it. Show it. Open it up and show show everybody inside what it looks like. Oh, okay. Hang on. White castles are awesome. I love white castles. Okay. I don't eat them anymore. Yes, you do. No, I don't. You did. You had White Castle a couple uh, weeks ago. It was ago. an incredible burger, but I won't have it again. It was two dollars <laughs> for the same size okay. as what you're going to show. First of all, they come like this. Okay. Why does that not look blue? Oh, because it's a chicken or a cheese. It, it's cheese. What? It is not blue. It's orange. Oh, really? Yes, they're orange. Let me all see right, take it box. out. Take it out of the box. Take okay. it out of the box. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's like it a is. double cheese. Double cheese, that's what I always get, double cheeseburger. Wow, okay, that's why it's in there. See, I don't get double. So you yeah, get higher, they, higher, hold it higher. There you go. They obviously the pickles. get their pickles for free because there's always a bazillion of them on their sandwich. Pickles are awesome. So it's it's bread, pickles, cheese. Did you get with or without onions? With. Oh, that's so good. Oh, see, I eat on the show. Now, I think this is, a, is this the first time you've eaten on the show since you had the chocolate? I'm pretty sure. Mmm, that looks so good. Oh, mm. White Castles. Hey, everybody, we have two White Castles here in Vegas now. But the burgers here are twice as much as they are in Chicago. Really? Well, not really. They're off by a few cents. I think they're 76 cents in Chicago, and here they're like a dollar forty-three, which is not quite double, but pretty close. Why? Because... It's here and it's in a casino. Well, one of them is a casino. Mm. Okay. That's only two places you can get it. Or just like normal. But, but I would not pay $1.43, just like I am not going back and getting an Incredible Burger for $2. It's the same size as that, but it's one patty. And then she didn't even put pickles on it. I was so mad at her. I go, where's my onions and pickles? Oh, here's a couple of pickles you can put your own on. I'm like, what? Yeah, so I was unhappy with the... Uh, I go, the picture has a pickle in it. Look, mm-hmm. up on the screen up there, there was a pickle picture to pickle. A pickle <laughs> picture? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So oh, my. Is that, is that, I thought Susie was going to come visit. I didn't know White Castle was going to come visit. So where is your closest White Castle? Kenosha. How far away is that? One hour. Wow. See, it's still good, right? You have to be warm to be good. It is. It's, it's I told warm. You. It's not hot, but it is warm. I told you. Oh. And and the and the meat has five holes in it, like a die, mm-hmm. and the five holes are um, so they don't have to flip the burger over. I always said it's because they don't have to put as much meat on the burger. No, and that's a great story to say. Yeah, that way it cooks all the way through, and you don't have to turn the burger over. But the thing's so thin, it would cook all the way over. That's awesome. So very cool. One more thing about those holes in the burger. They put the buns on top of the meat while it's cooking so that the holes can let the steam come through and steam the bun. Yep. That is true. 
That's the other thing. They're not fried per se. They're technically steamed. It is on a grill, but it's a steam grill. Yep. So well, it's weird. because they put onions, but I don't think the onions are made out of onions. They're made out of something else. Which <laughs> no, seriously. They're rehydrated onions. Uh, it's what McDonald's uses on their on their small burgers, not there on their quarter pounders. I castle onions. I am tempted to eat another one, but we got to finish the show. The internet rumor states the onions, White Castle burgers are not real onions at all. With the onions, White Castle slider would not be a slider at all. Burgers cooked on a bed of steamed onions would help permeate the burger patties and buns place on top of the process. So it's a rumor. Yes. Uh, really pieces of cabbage. That's what it is. Really pieces of cabbage soaked in onion juice. An internet rumor. That's an internet rumor. Not real. Actually, rehydrated onions. Yeah, but that's the that's why they're that's why it's a, a internet rumor. Exactly. Not not so, real. Because I would like to eat another one of these, but I'm not going to make it delay the show anymore. Okay, let's so let's do our phrase origin story then. I like We're, this one a lot. We're doing Christmas traditions. Yes. And this Christmas this Christmas tradition this. This phrase origin or this tradition origin for the holidays is the history of the Christmas card. So yeah. he, there are, there is some cool information on this, but the uh, custom of sending Christmas cards was started in the United Kingdom in 1843 by Sir Henry Cole. So you know that? I did. He set up the new public record office, which is now called the post office. Yes. And he was the assistant keeper and wonder how it could be used by more ordinary people. He had the idea of Christmas cards with his friend, John Horsley, who an artist designed the first Christmas card and sold them for one shilling, which is only five pence, which still doesn't help me, which is actually <laughs> eight cents. So now I know what it means. Yes. So eight cents. That's expensive. Back then, well, back then it was. Yes. That's what yeah. they say. The card had three panels. Two outer panels showed people caring for the poor. And then the center panel was the family having a large Christmas dinner. Here's what's uh, funny, though. Some people didn't like it. Some people didn't like it. The center panel had a child having a glass of wine. See, now, how do they know it was a glass of wine? It could have been a glass of fruit juice. That's right. So... So, Merry what Christmas and Happy New Year to you, it says. All the way from back then. Yep. So, that's cool. So, he started it. Um, what else? Well, the first known personalized Christmas card was sent in 1891 by Annie Oakley. Oh, wow. Yep, the famous sharpshooter and star of Buffalo Bill's uh, Wild West show. Yeah. So here's, here's the cool part. 1.5 billion, billion would it be, cards were sent in the U.S. compared to 679.9 million in the U.K. in 2010. Right. So don't we did forget, three times as many. Don't forget, the United States is 20 times larger than the U.K. Right. Well, they, they started it. Yes. 45%. Of all cards sent, our Christmas card. You bet. Pretty impressive. That's cool. Oh, here's one for us guys. Only 15%, that's right, 1-5% of cards bought are bought by men. Oh, thank you. Just goodness. kept calling me, sorry. So that's about it on Christmas cards. Uh, I hope you have those. My, my, my sister takes care of those for me, which is very awesome. She sends out all of our Christmas cards. So with that, I'd like to say thank you for watching. And if you feel our show was not a bad life decision, then please subscribe, like, watch our other shows and channels. Go down to the bottom down there. Go to whathappened.world, whathappened.world, not .com, not .org, not .biz, .world. And you can link to all of our social media there. Uh, go to Fun Guy the Entertainer Cooks for You and watch that cool rig he has behind his head over there. Uh, and you can see him bake. What did you bake? German spritz cookies. German spritz cookies. So with that, I want you to live every day, and we'll see you on the next show. Be genuinely positive, live and love life, and have a good one. Uh -huh.
Stepping, please, please. 